Good evening and welcome to today's Six on Your Side. I'm Rachel Garcelle. It was one of the most highly publicized trials in Idaho history. 20 years ago, Randy Weaver and Kevin Harris stood trial for the murder of a federal agent at Ruby Ridge, Idaho. The 11 day standoff in 1992 captivated the entire country. And today, a piece of that story is part of the sesquicentennial exhibit at the Idaho Historical Museum. Our Eric Fink joins us to take a look back in tonight's big story. Rachel, in that exhibit, the door to Randy Weaver's cabin is one of 150 artifacts on display. I recently spoke with a Boise attorney who sat on Weaver's defense team. He says the cabin door was essential to securing victory. In the summer of 1992, white supremacist Randy Weaver squared off with federal agents in an 11-day standoff near his family's cabin in the Idaho Panhandle. When it was over, his wife and son and a federal agent were dead. A bullet hole from a sniper's rifle that killed Vicki Weaver still remains in the cabin's front door, a door that was, and still, the centerpiece of the standoff. The point of the cross-examination was that the sniper must surely have seen Mrs. Weaver. The door had been brought to the courtroom, and uh, it was in its, uh, the same condition it had been in when it was hanging on the hinges at the cabin and the curtains were open. The person standing behind it at the place where the bullet went through would clearly have been visible. But the sniper testified he didn't see anybody behind the door. Nevin recalls the agent's rifle had a superior degree of accuracy. There was testimony that at 200 meters, um, a sniper like Mr. Horiuchi should have been able to hit uh, Roosevelt in the forehead as opposed to in the back of the head if you had been holding up a dime. This bullet hole, the open curtains, and these evidence tags all help teach younger generations about what happened that day. The Ruby Ridge door will remain right here at the museum until the end of the Essential Idaho exhibit in December. A witness to history, an artifact on loan from the Weaver family. A jury acquitted Kevin Harris on all charges and Weaver on all major charges. Weaver did spend 18 months in jail for failure to appear. David Nevin says he plans to visit the exhibit and will never forget the message behind the door. Particularly in Idaho, we have a mindset that we will decide for ourselves what's right and what's wrong who's guilty and who's not guilty. We don't let anybody tell us that. We're independent. Randy Weaver and his family now live a quiet life in Montana. Live tonight, Eric Fink. Today's Sex on Your Side. All right, very interesting. Thank you, Eric. 